Supertowski's going to explain how the judging is going to go on that now. So if you all pay attention to this, we can all get it down and move this along here. Okay, all the boys should have gotten a sheet like this when they came in. A parent and a scout is going to go up to the table. The scouts go around to each of the cakes. At cake number one, he will judge it on a scale of A, B, or C, just like in school. A for excellence, B for good, and C for fair. The parent will write that letter in the box. They judge everybody's except their own. When we have all the sheets, we'll tally up the scores, and we will decide on first place, second place, and third place winner. In case of a tie, we will draw a name out of a hat. And,
Debbie Morlock, Maria Mulcahy, Sandy Stanwick, Sue Petrowski, and Sharon Ward. Starting uh, out the year, the 18th through the 20th of January, we had the District 
freeze out. Uh, the 10th of uh, February, we went on a, it was a five mile hike in the Port Dearborn area. And uh, to receive a patch in the metal that goes with that, we had there were four other hikes we got to complete. The uh, 13th is our candy, start of our candy sale, which is the troops way for the boys to earn their money to go to Owasapi. We go to Owasapi every year for two years, or two weeks. Usually uh, starting the 28th of uh, July, we'll be gone and coming back in August. The uh, 24th or the 26th, we have a camp out. The 26th the 28th, we have a camp out in Galena. Now, we're going to Galena this year because at this time uh, in May, we have a spring camp in May, which is just district uh, one in June. In June, we're going on a camp out to Springfield. This is how the boys that are walking towards their eagle can uh, attain citizenship in the nation to visit the state capital. Uh, in August, we have a big foot hike a trail, which is out by Camp Sullivan, and it's a 15 miler. Uh, September, we're going to take me on a camp out. October is the fall camp of Lee. In November, we used to go to a cabin. And the 11th of December is our Christmas party. So that's our curriculum for the year. We try and stay active. We will have some uh, hikes in between these camp outs. We're in the process now of trying to check out some trails for the ranger at Camp Kiwanis. And uh, we try to keep active. We try to keep the parents active with us. This is what spelling is about. Thank you very much. Scouts, uh, Troop uh, 41, I think you all got one of these things here, they're having a food drive for non-perishable food, and they'll be collected from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. at March 10th at uh, St. Albert's. So if we can all participate then help them out with that. That's uh, Jim Weisinger's Eagle Service Project for a Life Scout. That, that's something big, so maybe we can all give him a hand with that. Stand up, Jim, why don't you stand up? Okay, this has given us a great opportunity here to recognize a few other people. People who are very important to our PAC. I'd like the uh, committee to stand up, our Cub Scout committee. Uh, we have Assistant Cub Master Ken Gardner. Hold your applause to the end. Hold your applause to the end. No, we'll never get out of here otherwise. Okay, Chairman Alice Porfirio. You can all remain standing, please. Our uh, Secretary, Linda Gardner. Pat Chuckle, our Treasurer. Wards Committee, uh, Sue Petrowski and Sharon Ward. Then leader coach, Debbie Morlock, and again, our scouting coordinator, Frank Buckus, and I'm the Cub Master, Len Boring. <laughs> okay, and breaking that down a little bit further, we have our Weeblo leaders, which are Ken Gardner, Linda Gardner, and Andrea Krieger. Ken one leaders, myself and my wife, Kathy. Our Den 2 leaders, Brenda Cermak and Mary Dugan. And our Den 3 leaders, Debbie Morlock and Debbie Brudinski. Let's get a round of applause for this. As far as scouting goes, that's where the main work comes in. You know, it's, uh, we have all these big occasions like this, but when you have to prepare each week for a uh, Den meeting, I think that's where it gets down to the, the real hard part and the real dedication and devotion. And the opportunity is always there. I'd like to plant the seeds in everybody's mind. The opportunity is all there for you to participate. You can just contact one of us. We'll be calling out for leaders in the future. We'll also need people to come in and uh, help us out on the committees in order to keep Cub Scout going. going. It's been going on for quite a while here at St. Albert's over 30 years, and we'd like to see it keep going and keep growing, giving boys the opportunity to keep on doing you know, all these fine activities. Okay, uh, Sue, you want to bring another group up here? Okay, we have our second group of boys, and they are Michael Berry, Joey Cermak, Michael Krieger, Kenny Gardner, Michael Lewis, Kevin Morlock, and Tommy Model.
flip the pot. Uh, Debbie, you want to explain how this is going to run here? Sure you do. All you have to do is get me a dollar bill and I'll give you a half a card. When the deck is sold, we'll pick a winner and you'll win $26.
chairman of that event come up here? Mr. Chairman. Come in and make a presentation on that? Chairman or the chairman? Who is that? Let Dave Barry be chairman. <laughs>
above the tip of the gold arrow, then he gets the silver arrow. And that's above what he got for the three of those bears, or the, uh, the other badges, like the bears and the uh, uh, wolf. Weevil's activity badges. Activity badges are small metal emblems. Each Cub Scout earns one each time he completes the requirement for one of the 20 activity badge subjects. The EM, these emblems are worn in the Weevil's Weevil's five colors. And then we have another award for a recycling star. One gold star is given for every 10 pounds of aluminum cans collected by the Cub Scout for the pack. This is part of our conservation project. And not only that, it's been like a uh, the basis of our. Uh, our treasury too, all these cans you guys collected, so we really appreciate that. Okay, that gives you a little bird's eye view of what the, uh, the ceremonies are, so let's move on to actually awarding the uh, emblems and the different badges. We're going to do it by, uh, we're going to start with the wee blows, then we're going to do it by den. And the, the wee blows are the wee blows, den one is the bears, den two and three are the wolves. Okay, so let's get on with the activities. Now, uh, as the boy comes up as Paul, how about if his parents come up with him, we can give him both some recognition. So let's hold our applause till the end of the group. This way we can run over because we've got a lot of information to cover here. Okay, Brian Chukwa. Meeple of Badge, citizen, family member, fitness, handyman, naturalist, outdoorsman, regiment, scholar, Compass Emblem, Junior Service Star. Lance Krieger. Weevil's <laughs> Badge, Citizen, Family Member, Fitness, Handyman, Naturalist, Readyman, Scholar, Compass Emblem, Junior Service Star. Mike Krieger. Weevil's Badge, Citizen, Family member, fitness, handyman, naturalist, outdoorsman, readyman, scholar, compass emblem, three year service star. John Dawkey. Artist Award, communicator, handyman, outdoorsman, scholar, compass device, four year year service star. Penny Gardner. Weevil of Badge, Citizen, Family Member, Fitness, Handyman, Naturalist, Outdoorsman, Readyman, Scholar, Humble Sandman, Three Year Service Star. Jim O'Kane. Weevil of Badge, Citizen, Family Member, Fitness, Handyman, Naturalist, Readyman, Scholar, Showman, Humble Sandman, Three Year Service Star. Tim Petrowski. Weevil of Badge, Aquanaut, Artist, Citizen, Fitness, Handyman, Outdoorsman, Readyman, Scholar, Compo 7, Career Service Star. And Timmy Ward. Timmy's getting a Weevil of Badge, a Citizen, Family Member, Fitness, Handyman, Naturalist, Outdoorsman, Readyman, Scholar, Compo 7, Emblem, and Career Service Star. And that's our wound blows. Let's give them a nice round of applause.
gold arrow with six silver arrows and a one-year service card. Bill Perry. Wolf Bad, one gold arrow, four silver arrows, one-year service card. Peter Ferrari. Wolf Bad, one gold arrow, one gold arrow, eight silver arrows, and a one-year service card.
Put your hands together and clap. Let's try it. That's the idea. Okay, that's good. It's okay. Good. We want everyone to be a few today. And if you see something that's funny, we want you to laugh. Uh, that's not too bad. And now, you've had an opportunity to get acquainted, but one more time, raise your right hand. Up no, the other right hand. Bob, you bad, you can do it too. Now take that right hand and reach out like this to the person sitting next to you. Shake their hand and say, gosh, you're good looking. Crunch 
up all the pieces of paper. And remember what I did before? I took some of the magic with the one.
is no way in the world that we can make anything out of that with just an egg and a little lighter fluid. But we're going to give it a try, Joe. I want you to stand right here. Now, it's very important. You see, whenever you do magic, a magician needs a magic wand. And it's this magic wand that has all the magic.
borrowed the dollar bill. You borrowed the dollar from your dad. You might get it back. Now, Ricky, what I'm going to try to do is take this envelope. I want you to hold your hand out just like this. Put the envelope, put the other hand on top of the envelope, just like that. Now, Dad, reach in your pocket like this. When Ricky says, one, two, three, that, do that dollar bill is going to wind up inside your top coat pocket. Reach in there. One, two, three. Is it there? No. The other pocket. No, no pocket in that thing. Nothing there. Great. Let's check the envelope. Hold on. Put it there one more time. One, two, three. Zoom. It's gone. Nothing. No. Nothing. Where's that cigarette lighter? Hold on. there. 
Is there anything? Tear open that envelope. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? You have to do what? Oh, you should have thought of that before. Oh, I'm only kidding. Reach in there. Hey, there is a little green piece of paper with the insurance policy, I think. There it is. Reach out. Open that dollar bill up. I think I owe somebody a quarter. I owe somebody a nickel. We'll square that up later. Is there a mark on that dollar bill? There is a mark. That is the dollar bill. George Washington has Debbie's name written across the front. Hey, we're cool. Give that dollar back to your dad. Tell him what good it is. Thank you.
What's that? Don't tell me. You know what it is. <laughs> kid with dyslexia. What is it? No. What the kid? No. You know what the card is, right? Yeah, I know. I don't. Hold it up and let everybody see. Let everybody see. Now, remember, don't whisper it. Keep it cool. No, oh, no. Okay, show it over here to the people in the nickel seats. Over here to the, the high potentate of the tribe or whatever. Okay. And now, Danny, put the card down. Let me see it. Put it back in the deck. Put it back anywhere. Perfect. In the middle. There we go. Put it back. Come on. There we go. And now, will you shuffle the cards? That's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the hard part of the trick is done. One card selected from this deck. The snake will now go through the cards one at a time and try to find the selected card. Now, are you ready? Stand right there. Throw your shoelaces up tight. I made you look. Now, ready? <laughs> okay, we're set. I lost my horn. Now, Guinness Book of World Records will now be set for one snake finding a selected card out of all the cards in the deck. Keep looking. You got it. Keep looking. Way down in the bottom. Wait a minute, he's found a car. Get back down there. That's not the right one. Go back down. Okay, try it again. He's got it, ladies and gentlemen. The Guinness Book of World Record has been set by the state. I don't believe it. Fantastic. When you see the car, you'll know it. Go ahead, turn it around. Show. No, you're all through. Get, get, get down. That's it. The trick is over. He found Danny's card. A letter. Uh, a 